Ladies and gentlemen, the day we have all been waiting for is finally here. We can now convert our Axe Effects 2 patches to Axe Effects 3 patches, and I'm going to show you how. The tool that we're going to be using to convert our patches is called Frack Tool. It's currently in version 2.81. It's made by Mr. Alex over in France. He does this for 100%. No money at all, he does it for free, so if you feel inclined, if you use this a lot, if it helps you out, make sure you send him a little donation as well, you can do that down here. He is not paying me to make this video at all, I actually sent him a little bit of a donation earlier today because Frag Tool makes my life very, very, very easy. So, let's get into how to convert our patches. The very first thing I always do is I put my Axe Effects on a completely blank patch, that way I don't override any of my other patches, making my life harder than what it already is. And all you really have to do is you dial up your patches that you want to convert. You take them, you drag them over here, drop them on top of the Axe FX logo, and boom, it loads it up for you. It also loads up the layout of what it looks like on the older systems. You can also convert AX8 patches. You can also convert FX, FX8 patches on here too. It does all of them, but you can only go from 2 to 3. You can't go from 3 to 2. You can't go backwards, you can only go forwards. It also has a readout of everything right here. It shows you all different values and stuff that you had loaded up. So you can actually view the patches offline too, which is very, very convenient. So let's see what it brought in here. It also brings it up a block higher than what it was on the two. I think this is just because the block layout's a little bit different on the three than it is to the two. And I'm OCD and I like my stuff in the middle of the screen, so I'm gonna drag it down. Uh, a good point that I would like to point out, I wish this thing would let me, there we go, bond it here. That's in the right spot. See this out to right here? If you first load up your patch and you get absolutely no sound to it, this is the thing that's doing it, 100%. And also make sure that your shunts are all the way through. What you have to do is just turn it into, just turn it into a shunt because that used to be the effects loop on the Axe FX2 and it causes the vibe to completely drop out. As you can see, we got some volume now. And our patch is successfully over and we have some sound. There we go. Got ourselves a nice little lead patch going on here. And the only thing left to do now is we can just save it. And save it if we want. We can move it to another preset. And that was very easy, and look, it brings over everything that you had before. Now, the IR spots are going to be different because it's going to load from what it came from on your other unit. So you may have to come in and you may have to change your IRs around. The Frack tool itself does also export cabs. You can export, um, if you have a cab list that you exported from your other unit, you can take it and it'll load it right in for you. You can, or you can use Frack Tool to pull it off and you can put it onto your 3 and everything will be lined up. I've already uploaded a bunch of them using the Axe FX 3 Mini tool, so I'm not going to mess with that. Now, another cool thing that this unit actually does too is it can convert a bank file. So let's test that out. Let's see, which is my newest bank file? It is going to be this one right here. So what you do for that one is you grab your bank file, you drag it over the hard drive here to convert a local file, and it'll pop up and it actually shows you everything that was in the bank. And oh, here you go, you click the bank and you can um, save You can save it to individual presets and you can save it to the bank. So let's see, you go save to bank and let's do Axe FX3. And you can look and you can pick it where you want to go and that's perfect. It already names it for you. So yeah, let's just save it like that. Let's save it like that. And once you have it saved, what you have to do is you have to come over and you have to come to Fractalbot and let's hook up the Axe FX3 there. We got Fractalbot all up and all you got to do is you want to send some stuff. Actually, you can just drag and drop. So you grab our bank, going to put it right there and you just hit begin. And what this is going to do is this is going to, this is going to convert all of bank A on your Axe FX to the bank that you converted. So let's begin. Yes, so you see it's going to tell us that it's going to permanently overwrite 100 of those um, presets. Another good tip is if all the presets that you want to make, stick them in the blank presets all the way at the end of your Axe Effects because you can always import the new presets 
and stuff like that. Bank Bank D is the one that has most of the bank presets. So let's override Bank A. Send. I'm obviously not going to make you sit through all of this. So I will see you back here when everything is done. Bank has finished moving over. So let's actually check out how they made out all right. Let's see, let's go all the way to bank one, and oh, look at that. All of our patches are in. That is some beautiful stuff. This is all the patches I had on my Axe FX2 for like a very, 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 very long time. Let's check out, um, let's check out this one. This one's actually really, really good. Believe it or not, this patch is very good for pop punk. It's very great for pop punk. Let's see how it sounds right now. Like I said, the IRs are going to be a little bit different because it's pulling data from your old one. But we have all the fan favorites are here. Uh, like I said, output 2 is not going to work. Oh, another point I wanted to bring up is the um, plaque. If you have a multi-delay on the two patch that came over it's going to come over in a plex delay so the multi delay against the plex delay it shows up as plex shift remember fractal is still in beta just change it to plex delay there we go ladies and gentlemen we have successfully converted our patches we have successfully brought in an entire bank from the Axe FX2 to the Axe FX3 as you can see here. So if you have any comments, any questions, definitely do not hesitate to hit me up in the comments down below. I'm going to put the link to Frack Tool where to download it, all the details about it on the Fractal form. I'm going to put that down in the description so you can check it out. So like I said, any, any comments, any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. So for me, I'm going to have to be out. Peace. Yeah.